Daniela, I could proud. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Um, Hi. Happy Monday, man. Yeah. Happy Monday to you all. So on Friday we left off with these boxes that we were busy with. So um, today we want to do some. Let me have a bit of Today we want to do some uh, transfers on top of our boxes. Mama, stay on me, picky pad. The base of it is what we'll more do. So this is the water slide transfer that Oma is going to be using. Go. So she's just busy cutting it out. to be working on our boxes. Um, I painted this one on Friday. This was done with the um, Paisley Nemo, the Paisley stencil. And I still need to fix, finish that lid. I started with the corners. So today we want to do some nice Water slide transfers. The water slide transfers are from um, the Velvet Attic. And we're going to be using a couple of A5 ones. Got these pretty roses. Um, hello, Nunu. Hello, Judith. This is a small A6. This is another A5. The roses on. We've got a different camera set up a bit. So, um, I glare that. So we are trying to read your comments while you are talking, but we might have a bit of a 15 seconds delay, so don't get impatient, we will answer you. Um, these are all water slides that I'm busy with now. And we want to do some water slides on our boxes. Mom, well, you've decided on which one you want, eh? Mm. I wonder if there's more A fives there. Let's just have a look. Yeah, <laughs> get I just want to see if there's some more water slides. Yeah, maybe we can use some of these. So I'm looking for a nice design that I can use on my box. I want to make it look like a suitcase. So something nice that I can fit in the middle. Yeah. Right, these are all A6s. They're actually quite nice. Another rose one. This is a uh, landscape. Are you ready to go? Mm. Alright. So, do you want to show them what you're going to be doing? I'm going to put this pencil on there. Transfer. Transfer. So just tell them how you do the water slide. I put it in the water and wait for it to cool up. So the water slide curls in the paper, I made a key, and once it's ready it starts curling open. And then you'll see that the slide and the paper actually comes apart. But you pick them up together. And you need a rag, a dry rag. And you need to have your item sealed before you start doing the water slide. Hi, Sarita. Exinia is any pain sticky. choosing something for my box now. Going to like this one. It's quite nice. And the more it ruins see. I think this is going apart. Is it going apart? Alright, I just want to show them the bucket quickly because I don't think you guys can see so far. So hopefully you guys can see. It actually starts coming loose. See you can move it. And that's when you know your water slide is ready to take off. Nice little one. 
Jesus are the ones God has seen. So it is quite tough. It's not going to break or anything. Would you please go and fetch my um, glasses? Because I can't see it. Um, so I'll go where are they? They are in my bedroom on my um, little vanity thing. So just to show you what I've done is the paper is a bit sticky. Don't be so my yard it was a lack of now yet. So I use that stickiness actually just to take up all the little rimples and folds. So you can get it quite straight just using your bit of sticky paper. And if you feel you don't like it, you can always lift it up, add some more water, and bring it back down. It's actually quite sturdy. It doesn't just break. Um, you can really... I've, I've had um, water slides being on furniture for two years, and I forgot to seal them afterwards. And then I took them off, and I used them on something else, and they never tore. They never broke. So yeah, it's actually quite sturdy. So I can't find it. Um, by my laptop, Ma, there's another pair of glasses next to my laptop. I put them there and I put them on the right hand side. So I'm working blind today without my glasses. So here we go, and that's how it looks. And then, of course, you've been working with water, you then use your dry rag, and you just dry the area around it. Remember that uh, you need to seal your item before you actually do your water slide, so that um, you don't rub your paint off because it's still paint. Bye, Diana. Thank you so much. All right. So, uh, yeah, my board hung, but it's um, it hasn't been sealed yet. I don't know when am I going to find time to seal it. It's on more. Thank you. I've made it right. Okay, now I can make a seal. So, um, just something I need to share with you guys, and um, we are really, really thankful for all the inquiries we've received. Uh, all the orders we've received. We are so thankful for you guys. We really do appreciate you. And um, I haven't told you guys this before, so I just wanted to say thank you so very much from the bottom of our hearts. We really appreciate your interest in our products, and we hope we can deliver to you very soon. All right, Marcia, you sorted. So I can go on now. I just want to see if I've got some more transfers, yeah? These are also nice if you've got little spice bottles. Here we go with that one. Now no, don't pull it off now. Pull it off on your item. Okay, and then you just pull out the, no, pull out the white piece at the back. Hold it in place. And there we go. And you keep your white piece so that you can glue it down and take out all the little ripples. Maybe just add a bit of water there. Okay, and fold it open. There you go. Mock it, ne? And wipe it with a lappy. These normally mock it, but this one I. Uh, it's just because it's cut out, out so finely. And these are little labels for your flour and your baking powder and your baking sodas. These are quite nice. There's a little it's sample at the back too. Okay, do you want to move it? Oh, that's a good question. Let's cover it up. Wipe off all the excess water. Did you know I need to do more? And what? Oh, I was still looking for a transfer. I showed you the baking shows 
set up. I showed you the the Seuss coriander and fennel and all these little spice ones. Oregano, poppy seeds. This is corsets. This is quite nice. It's little stamps. This is for all the sewing people out there. Uh, this is more for a bathroom. Here's another bunny, bunny, bunny. This one says black pepper or spice. And there's another carrots. So I need to decide on something for my box now. So I think in the size of today. Must I seal it now? Um, only once it's dry. So either I need to decide on the bunny, which is very pretty, or the little angel wings. <laughs> now I think the bunny one would go better with the green. So I think I'll rather do that one there. Isn't there any alpha? That box mm -hmm. can have nice. Which one? Um, with the edges. Um, you've got yeah, them I've just done the edges with the uh, Midnight in Paris from Petit Rouge. So I'm still deciding as you see. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to use any of these. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of these still. These hanging around. But this one I might use this one. Um, and the little ones are the A6. Look at this nice ballet one. Do you want to use that? Oh no, I've got enough of it. For the bottom part? No. You're not going to see it. <laughs> and I don't want to put a car on it. But maybe I should use this one. What do you think? This one. Might be too. Okay. I'm very indecisive today. This one. Yes. I don't like the first one. Alright, so mom says this one. So it's going to be this one. And then you cut the pieces out. Yes. And, but once yours is dry, you can seal it. But you were busy with the second box as well, weren't you, Mo? Yes, but I wanted to seal it. Oops, can I have to cut that? Well, can also cut that. But okay, do you want to cut it? Yes. <coughs> Alright, but I think you should just cut the edge. Yes, just around the edge. I'm going to use the whole thing as as uh, oh, just the white off. Yes. This little box, I still need to do the edges like I started to do here. So I want to get my paint and do that. I'm a bit of a car today, guys. How was your weekend? What did you do? Have you been busy with your projects? We like Nabum Spread for Dachriana. The barrel, or was it good? It's offered like a barrel, man. This looks better if you've got a set of eyes. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just taking a flat brush and I'm going over the little corner of this box <coughs> so that we've got this green color. And it's actually now I get to this painting and seal it because it's going to stop getting collecting dust here. Did you see the picture I put up on the page yesterday for Mother's Day? That was Mom's Mother's Day gift. Finally managed to finish it after two years of painting. 
Turtles on Shred at the Beach Guys. Hello. Yeah. Is it going to fit on that? Yes, it is because it's going to go <coughs> over on the sides, which is fine. That's just okay. Why don't you put it lengthwise? Because then I can't put straps on my box. Oh, okay. Yes, I want to have it look like a little suitcase. Do you think I should cut it off? I don't even need to see that. I think we should put that part on and cut out. So then we, we cut it off. Yes. So like so. But now I cannot cut very straight. Can you? Okay, can I put it over the, the edge that, that would look nice? Let's do it over the edge. Okay, then we go over the edge. <laughs> then we show them how to go over the edge. Alright, so I'm singing. Or you can be painting corners if you want. There we go. I just want the little lappy. Alright, so today we're going to do this a bit differently. Let me just show you what we're going to do. Is we're going to take it over the edge. Um, and that's normally, um, people tend to cut it and then continue, but I'm going to take it over the edge a bit. And then let's see how that turns out. Now, we you're supposed to have a bucket that is, or a tray that it is bigger than your transfer. Now you can see, I get the claim button you saw. So, so we're going to make do with what we have. Thank you. 
facilitate it out here. So now I just need to be very careful because I can't put masking tape on my water slide because remember they're not full of off because the only thing that's holding the water slide to the item is water. So when I paint, I need to be very careful that I don't paint over my water slide. This way I can go over, that's fine. I've got masking tape on that side. So just be careful that you don't paint over your water slide. So I'm just going to go in there and just touch it straight to the edge of my water slide. So here we go, so you can see. Hi Rianza, ons was weg, ons was echt probeer vir een goeie eer. We're busy testing some new equipment, so we just lost signal for a moment, apologies. But we're back. <laughs> so I'm painting in some straps for my make-believe suitcase that I'm painting. And I've decided to go with the guillotine gray from Petit Rouge. This is a color we haven't used yet. So, there you go. It's actually quite a nice color. Can you scroll down so if I can see people are saying something, please? As always, if we miss a comment from you, we will go through it afterwards and just reply onto those comments. Sorry, um, we will respond to your comments afterwards. It's just we can't see any comments at the moment, so I will I will get back to you on the comments. And Amma, what are you doing? I'm just putting the gold on those edges on the corners of your box. Yes, and the canvas. I just felt it needed a little bit of something. Okay, so this week's challenge is anything artistic or crafty. So anything that you haven't gotten to yet, that is your challenge for this week. All the half projects, including ours, we've got a couple of half projects <laughs> that we need to now finish. Otherwise, we're just creating more half projects. Right, and let's see if I paint it straight enough though. Now you can take off the masking tape. Let's know if I can find it. Just quickly do 
just do that part as well, or just the little angle. No, just the angle is fine. When you do see your project mark, this this blue box of mine, this is the bottom piece. I need to see all that stuff as well. Oh, we haven't found the bottom. I'm fine as well in the bottom. Just painting the grey right to the edge of my water slide. I don't want to go over my water you slide. Want to paint that bottom for you while mine is dry. Oh, my is old. But you need to take the sticky off first. We painted this box with Midnight in Paris from Petit Rouge. So if you wanted to know what color that is, it's a very dark, deep blue. Hello, Charlene. Hello, Jackie. Now I can see you guys. Donkey. <laughs> so I'm just taking my line up until I get to my water slide. I don't want to paint over my water slide and I can't stick a piece of masking tape over my water slide because I'll put, pick it up, pull it up. So I'm just taking the line to the edge of the slide. This is the very end of the month grey now. We've got only a little bit left. We've been painting very carefully, girls, because our paint is very scarce at the moment. There's a nice full thing, yeah, in the blue. In the blue, yes. <laughs> I actually wanted to do my kitchen with that blue. That looks lovely. You think so? Yes. It's going to be a pretty sick game. I'm just going in with my flat brush around the, the edges of my little corners. So, my flat brush. And then I'm eyeballing it here. I try and keep it straight. It's not quite straight, is it? <laughs> You're supposed to tell me if it's not straight. I am it. <laughs> You, you almost did because it was on and then it stopped and then we started it again. So afterwards I'll just go and put the two together so that there's only one. We're testing some different equipment today. Because um, my phone's microphone went, so we're trying a different setup For Mother's Day I got a camera setup. So that's what my guys did for me yesterday. So they are actually quite stood up. <laughs> so now I can luckily see your comments better as well. <coughs> so I can respond to questions or ask questions. Is she sitting on your bed? Uh, I think it's getting too hot for her. Can I just put this on the phone? So if you're using a flat brush to do the edge here, uh, you'll see that it actually works so easy. So you can just take it right to the edge. That looks beautiful. Is that all you want to paint it? Uh, yes, the rest is all just sealed. Try and seal with the lid. And now we must decide, are we going to take these straps down on the side of the box? Because now it looks <laughs> like the box has got... Yeah. <laughs> looks like the box has got leather straps, but the bottom doesn't have. So maybe we should take the straps all the way around. We're watching you. <laughs> Stop. She's more than a child, like. <laughs> 
Continue the stripes down the straight. Just pass me the sealer, please. What are you sealing now? My, but the gold is still wet. We're going to smudge everything. Oh, okay. So rather let it stand a while. It's just drying the bottom right there. Alright. I want to try and get my straps going around my box. I'm just going to put it like this. It's a okay. mess. Bottom is definitely not dry. Yeah, this side. Yeah. So do you see where we've got the grey stripes? It needs to continue so that we can have like so it looks like a little suitcase. Have you got a little embellishment to do that little lock thing in the front? No. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs>
Now is this time. I just have the little bunny bunny. You can always do your straps before you put your water slide on. But I, I don't know, I just don't get that right. I, it's always short. So I prefer doing my straps after I've done my water slide. It's, it's staying back so because we, we pulled a little piece of it about the bottom Okay.
and maybe something like what Amma's done here. Yeah. These are, I think, peonies. Then you and you don't like the colour, you can always paint it in over the transfer and let it just seal the front. All right. So this is the bunny that I'm now stuck with. Bunny is now going to go on here. But now you will see that if I take it right over these um, little corners, my, my transfer is going to stand up. So I just need to give it a bit of a, a cut on the edges so that the transfer actually lies flat on my item. So I'm just going to cut corners out of it. I want to see my corners of my box. So this is then what I'm left with. You see, I've made it fit in on the corners. So I'm quickly going to lay this one down on top of the box and then we'll do the coloring tomorrow. Again, I'm going to show you how I do this. Now, my transfer is bigger than the bowl that I have, so um, I can't fit it in normally. So it goes in on the side and it starts curving. Like a little horse rollity. <laughs> right, and then I leave it in there. Um, if you've got a big enough bowl for your transfer, it will roll up and it will go, it will open up once it's ready. But now it doesn't have much space here to unroll because I've got such a small little bowl here. So I'll just check it once it starts coming loose. Why is this blue? I wiped the brush here. Oh, okay. And this little piece you can use on something else again. So you don't need to use everything. Especially the A3s that are so big, you don't need to use everything at once. You can use portions of it. And now this piece I'll just put back in my packet and I'll keep this one one side. Um, yeah, Shaleen, the silk papers work very nice. Um, the problem, the difference between the silk paper and the transfer, the transfer's background is um, transparent once you've taken it off. The silk paper will always return to this type of creamy beige color. So whatever you put it on, it, it needs to be the same, similar type of background color than the soft papers. Right, we should be open and working, yeah? No. I'll do that. Yeah, I'm going to put a little piece. A bit of a funny Monday today. So I know the slide is ready when it starts moving away from the back board, from the white piece. So then the same principle as I applied now. Now I will start at the top and center it first. So I take it over like a piece like that and I then put it onto my place where I need it to be. Once you start putting it, that it stays into the right position. So now I've got it on, roll it straight, and now I can start putting on the white piece of paper. And then you 
you take the sticky paper and you're going to take out all the little corners and um, all the little bubbles and stuff. And if there's a big bubble, you can still lift it. It doesn't tear. And you start rubbing it out. If you see, it doesn't stick very well. Add some water because it's only sticking with water. That's the only thing that's adhering it to your box. Now I want to show you something like, yeah, there's a bit of a, a ripple in the paper. So I'm going to lift it and just flatten it out again. So then you can move those bubbles out. So while it's still wet, you can work on it until you are happy with it. You're not going to easily tear it. <coughs> you know what I've just realized? I never sealed this lid. Uh, didn't you? No, I sealed that blue lid. So I'm just going to wrap up all my little bubble piece. And if I feel it's not sticking, just add some water. That's why I say the only thing that's adhering this transfer to your box is water. So once it dries, the water evaporates. So you do need to seal your item or it's going to come off. And that's it. And as you can see, I haven't teared my paper at all and I mean you've seen now how many times have I taken it I picked it up and how many times have I put it out now you see this side it's not sticking because it's going over my edge so I'm just going to give it a bit of a cut there and then it's on
Takip yapıyorum. Takip yapıyorum. Oğlum sıkmışlar yeri bulamak yok. Bye-bye.